All right, guys, here's another example. Uh, we have a roller coaster going around the loop. It has a speed of 20 meters per second. The loop's radius is 25 meters, and the roller coaster has a mass of 500 kilograms. I'd like to find the normal force at the top and bottom of the loop on the roller coaster. I want to find the minimum speed that the roller coaster can go and still complete the loop. And then I'd like to find the total time it would take the roller coaster to complete one loop. All right? So for part A, first of all, I'm going to draw a picture. Okay, so draw one picture at the top and one picture at the bottom. Here's the object at the top. Here's the object at the bottom. Now, the forces acting at the top are normal and gravity. Forces at near the bottom are normal and gravity. The difference is one is up, one is down. Recall positive in circular motion is always to the center. Okay, so at the top, down is positive. And at the bottom, up is positive. So, I will put signs plus and the plus here, and the plus and the minus here. Okay? Now, we are looking for the normal force. We are given mass, velocity, and radius. So, if I write out F net at the top, is F net equals mv squared over r. That is going to be normal, which is positive, plus mg, which is the force of gravity, also positive, equals mv squared divided by r. So normal is going to be mv squared over r minus mg. So that's going to be 500 times 20 squared divided by 25 minus 500 times 9.8 giving us, and you'll bear with me because I'm using a calculator, 9.8 And I get 3,100 Newton's All right. For the bottom. Same process. Write out F net equals N V squared over R. We have F net or excuse me, normal force, which is positive, plus um, mg is negative here, so rather than a plus here, this should be minus. So normal here is going to be mv squared over r plus mg. So we get here 500 times 20 squared over 25 minus 500 times 9.8 plus, excuse me, so that is 500 times 20 squared divided by 25 plus, I get 12,900. For part B, that is the minimum speed for the roller coaster to complete the loop. So here's the roller coaster at the top. We've got gravity and we have normal. If you recall guys, we said minimum speed occurs when at the top the normal force for one instant drops to zero. So if I write out F net, 
equals mv squared over r. We have f normal minus mg equals mv squared over r. But you're going to recall that we said at v min f normal goes to zero. This is gone. This is the minimum, mass drops off, so the min is the square root of Rg, which is going to be the square root of 25 times 9.8, which is 15.65 meters per second. Or part C. We are asked total time to complete one loop. Guys, if we go back to our basic definition, speed is equal to distance divided by time. If we have an object moving in a circle, distance is equal to the circumference, which is equal to 2 pi times the radius. So in our case, our distance is 2 pi times 25, or 50 pi, which is 157 meters. This is the distance here. I know the speed. The speed at the beginning is 20 meters per second. So time is going to be distance divided by speed. It's 157 meters divided by 20 meters per second, or 7.85. I hope this problem was helpful, guys. Okay.